Service provision should be linear, but it isn't. We receive great service, followed by bad service. Why is that? And how do we eliminate the inconsistencies revealed? Find out in today's show. Welcome back to year three of this weekly edition every Friday of the Japan Business Mastery Show. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy, the president of Dale Carnegie Training Tokyo Japan, master trainer and best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, Japan Business Mastery and Japan Presentations Mastery. The Japanese translation of Japan Sales Mastery, Zaegyo, is available on Amazon. We are bringing the show to you from our studio in the High Performance Center in Akasaka in Minatoku, the business center of Tokyo. This is episode number 121, and we are talking about customer service mastery. Before we get going, a quick word from our sponsor. If you want to sell more and do it more easily, do the Winning with Relationship Selling course. If you can't build trust, no sale. Can't design excellent questions to understand the client's needs, no sale. Can't present the solution convincingly, no sale. Can't handle objections properly, no sale. Can't close, no sale. Master the sales process by doing the winning with relationship selling course now in either Japanese or English. bestseller, Japan Sales Mastery, is the new bible of selling in Japan. To sell to Japanese buyers, you need to create long-term partner-level trust, fully understand Japanese buyers' real needs, convince buyers with your solutions, overcome their hesitation, fear and doubt, know how to ask for the order, ensure repeat orders. This book is the product of 30 plus years in the trenches, selling in Japan. Order Japan Sales Mastery now. Welcome back. Okay, now it's time for the show. Sorry, Dewa, ikimashou. So let's get going. Salespeople are always trying to assure their buyers that they and their firm are trustworthy and reliable. The follow-through component of the sales process is when these two claims are tested. The salesperson can be doing a splendid job, but what about the rest of the support team? Are they backing up the salesperson's efforts with their protection of the brand? Are they bolstering the salesperson's strong customer focus? Jan Carlsen, many years ago, published a tremendous guide to customer service. He had the job of turning around SAS Airlines and captured that experience in his book, Moments of Truth. I was reminded of Carlsen's insights when I was checking into my hotel in Singapore. One of Carlsen's observations about customer service was the importance of consistency for delivery. For example, visualize the telephone receptionist answering your call in a pleasant, helpful manner, and you are uplifted by your exposure to the brand. The next staff member receiving the transferred call, however, is grumpy and unfriendly. Now, both your mood and positive impression plummet. You are suddenly irritated by this company have just damaged their brand by their lack of an ability to sustain good service across only two consecutive touch points with the customer. Let me mention a customer service breakdown I particularly dislike here in Japan. You call just about any organization and you will get a very flat voice answering the phone saying in Japanese, XYZ company here, you asked to speak with that very excellent and impressive member of staff, Ms. Suzuki, 
whom you met recently at a networking event. The flat, uninterested voice tells you that she is not at her desk right now. And then stone silence. The, may I take down your number and phone number so that she can call you back, bit, is rarely offered. Instead, you're left hanging on the phone. The inference of the silence is that if Mrs. Zook is not around, that's your problem, and you should call back later rather than expect a return call. Again, to Carlson's point, these inconsistencies of customer service directly damage the brand. In this example, when I'd previously met Ms. Suzuki, I was impressed by her. I had a good impression of the whole organization. The person taking the call has just put that positive image to the sword. This is what happens to us in sales. We do the right thing, but elsewhere in the organization, someone else is sabotaging our good efforts. We should all sit down and draw the spider's web of how customers interact with us and who they interact with. We should expect that we all need reminding of the importance of good customer service for the image and credibility of the company. First impressions count, but so do all the follow-up impressions if we want to build a sustainable, consistent, positive image with our customers. Consistency of good experiences doesn't happen automatically. We have to look again at all of our touch points with our customers and ensure that everyone in the team understands their place in maintaining the excellent brand we have built up. I hope you enjoyed today's show and so please subscribe on YouTube. Share with your family, friends and colleagues. Become a regular. Hit the little bell icon to receive update notifications. Our website details are on screen now, www.dale-carnegie.co.jp. It's packed with value, so certainly check it out. We try to offer as much value as possible, so you might also enjoy our other shows. In fact, we are releasing content six days a week for podcast Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesday for the Presentations Japan series, and every second Tuesday for the Business of Tachijin no Oshie Show, Wednesdays for the Sales Japan series, Thursdays for the Leadership Japan series, and every second Thursday for the Business Pro Podcast Show, Fridays for the Japan Business Mastery Show, and Saturdays for Japan's top business interviews. Now you get these wherever you get your podcast. Also, Every Monday, we release the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Television Show. And every Friday, the Japan Business Mastery Show. Saturdays, every Saturday, we are releasing Japan's top business interviews. These are all on YouTube. We appreciate your support and please let others know about it so they can benefit too. We want to make a contribution to helping people build their careers and businesses. And so please join with us in that endeavor. In episode number 122, we are talking about how to sustain audience interest. Onagai Tashimas, please join me next week to master business here because that is what we all want, isn't it? Japan business mastery.